Earlier this month, the government of India announced the union budget for the year 2023 and it was named as Amritkal. So guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the key highlights of this year's budget. So guys, without any second, let's dive into our video. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel so that you can get my contents as soon as possible. So guys, let's talk about the point number one, which is the new tax rates. So guys, the most important part of this year's budget was the introduction of the new tax rates. So guys, as per the new tax rates, if your income is below 3 lakh rupees, then you don't have to pay any tax. If your income is from 3 lakh rupees to 6 lakh rupees, then the rate of the tax will be 5%. If your income is 6 lakh rupees to 9 lakh rupees, then the rate of the tax will be 10%. If your income is from 9 lakh rupees to 12 lakh rupees, then the rate of the tax will be 15%. If your income is from 12 lakh rupees to 15 lakh rupees then the rate of the tax will be 20 percent and if your income is more than 15 lakh rupees then the rate of the tax will be 30 percent and if you want to compare the new tax rates with the previous year's tax rates then this comparison will help you point number two infrastructure so the total expenditure for infrastructure was set at 10 lakh crore rupees which is 33 percent more than the previous year's budget along with that the government is also planning to allocate 79 thousand crore rupees under the pradhan mantri abbas yojana which is 66% more than the previous year's budget. The government is also proposing to develop 50 plus new airports, heliports and aerodromes across the country. And if we are talking about railways, then a sum of 2,40,000 crore rupees was allocated for the development of the railways out of which 75,000 crore rupees will be utilized for the construction of new railway projects. Point number 3. Education. In the next 3 years, the government is proposing a provision to appoint at least 38,800 new teachers and support staff for about 740 plus Ekelave model schools in which they will provide their service to at least 3,50,000 tribal students. Along with that, three centers of excellence for artificial intelligence will be established in top educational institutions. The government is also planning to open at least 157 new nursing colleges and 100 laboratories in engineering institutions will be used to develop applications to enjoy 5G services and a national digital library will be set up for children for facilitating the availability of quality books across geographies and different languages number four the defense sector the defense ministry of india received 5,94,000 crore rupees as its budget and it is the highest allocation among all the ministries under the ambitious atma nirvar bharat scheme the government has banned imports of several items including crucial parts to manufacture defense equipments as they are being manufactured in india now point number five renewable energy the government is also targeting to produce at least 5 million metric ton of green hydrogen by the year in 2030 Along with that, 20,700 crore rupees is also allocated to construct a transmission system in order to transmit 13 gigawatt renewable energy from Ladakh to various states. Point number six, agro sector. Government is planning to set up agriculture accelerator fund to nurture startups in rural areas and build an open source agriculture infrastructure. The budget for the agriculture ministry stood at 1,25,000 crore rupees and the food subsidy in the budget has been fixed at 1,97,000 crore rupees while the fertilizer subsidy has been estimated at 1,70,000 crore rupees. Space research As the Indian Space Research Organization, which is also known as ISRO, is on a path to rise, our finance minister has allocated a budget of 12,543 crore rupees to the Department of Space. And it is very surprising that this year's budget is 8% less than the last year's budget. Point number 7. IT Sector The government of India has set aside 16,549 crore rupees for the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, which is nearly 40% higher than the previous year's budget. The budget in the previous year was 14,300 crore rupees for the IT Ministry. And now it is time for my last point of today's video, budget for micro, small and medium enterprises or MSME sector. The government has proposed to spend a record 22,138 crore rupees on allocations aimed at micro, small and medium enterprises also known as MSME in the year 2023 and 2024. And in my opinion, this huge amount will definitely give a boost to the employment in the country. The budget for the MSME sector is gradually rising from the year 2013 and 14 as it is contributing a significant figure to the GDP of India. So guys, if you like this little effort of mine, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that you can get my contents as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video.